today what I'm going to be working on is going to be the Eastern Wizard X220. Last week we took it out for a flight uh, to do some practicing with, and I really love flying this little guy. I'm brand new at this, but I probably enjoy flying this one right here more than I do of any of the other quads I have. And I was a little disappointed in the air. I thought I fell safe, and it dropped out. But after picking it up, it had a very soft landing. It was only about 25 feet in the air over a wet, soft grass. Uh, really had no impact into the ground. So everything was intact. It was beeping at me. I picked it up and uh, unplugged everything, reset everything, plugged it back in, and it did not arm. Uh, all the lights come on. I heard the beeps from the ESCs, and but it still didn't arm. So I went ahead and brought it home. I thought, well, you know, maybe a wire came loose or something like that. After inspecting it, all the wires and everything seemed to be intact. I plugged it into beta flight. I did a motor check. I uh, checked the ESCs. Everything seemed to work function. Um, worked correctly on it. Um, on the uh, tab of the uh, beta flight, uh, when I moved the copter, everything you know moved with in sync like it should have. Everything was testing fine. The only thing it wouldn't do was uh, it wouldn't receive any signals from my transmitter. So the only thing I, I thought at that point could be would be the uh, maybe the uh, receiver in there went bad. It had a Turnigy receiver in there, and uh, there's the Turnigy receiver it had. I had no issue out of it. I bought this copter used from someone, and uh, I got the controller and the receiver along with another copter I bought, the Diatone uh, Crusader GT2. They both had the Turnigy in it, and uh, I've already upgraded the other one, um, XM FR Sky, um, full range receiver, so it works with my Q7, uh, my Tyrannus. So I eventually was going to upgrade this one as well, so I thought, well, okay, it's just a, it's just a bad receiver, and I had the one I took out of my, uh, diatone, it was working correctly when I took it out, and, uh, I went ahead and picked it up and, and figured I would go ahead and test it with this one. Uh, again, I still had no receiving on this. It, it wouldn't receive any input from my controller, but everything else still functioned. At that point, I kind of gave up on it and decided, well, I'll go ahead and order another flight um, controller for it. Excuse me. I went ahead and I took all this out. I took the uh, power board out. I've got it all down to just basically, we've, we've got it down to this right now. So I disassembled it, I got the uh, old flight controller out, the old uh, power distribution board out, um, I've taken out already the uh, receiver, so went ahead and I got my new uh, flight controller here, the uh, CL Racing FS4 or F4S B1.6. We're going to go ahead and try to install this and see if we can't get this thing back in the air. Um, this is the new... Uh, board that we have and that's a new board we're going to put in it and uh, it has the uh, SD slot on the bottom side of it for your black box flight um, video uh, to hook up for your black box hopefully this is going to be an upgrade for the Yishin Wizard uh, 220 for me and uh, we're just going to run this board without the power board. Came in the box along with that is a cable, and you got some new grommets there um, for your flight uh, controller board. So we'll probably use the new grommets as well. We're going to set the copter out of the way. I've already disassembled everything, got it out. This is also the one that uh, we did the upgrade on the uh, Fox Hero 502 camera, which is, seems to be a great camera. I like it. I've only had two flights with it so far, but I really did enjoy this camera right here. Um, I would probably recommend that. Uh, like I said, I am brand new at this, so I, you know, I mean, I, I don't know everything about copters and flying them. I, I know I'm having a great time flying them right now, and uh, this might be an old piece of equipment uh, to most people and outdated, 
But to me, it's a whole heck of a lot of fun, and it seemed to fly pretty stable. And as a beginner, it seemed to work out really well for me. I also uh, did a video on the uh, universal mount to put a session or a, an action camera type um, camera on the Ishin Wizard. We did a video on that. You might check out the video link for that one. I'm going to go ahead and get started on uh, getting this board ready to install and see if we can get it back in the air. Alright, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and get these pads right here ready for uh, the new wires. Get them all, a little bit of solder put on them. Alright, we've got the motor tabs already tuned up there, got a little bit of solder on them, get them prepared for it. Next we're going to do the uh, VTX, camera in, camera out, get those pads soldered up, get them ready. And we'll do the uh, buzzer tabs as long as... Uh, Power leads there for the XT60 done. Got all the motor just done. Um, got the XT60 all ready to go. Alright, we got the board setting in there. So, I'm going to go ahead and start hooking up the uh, ESCs on it. Get a little bit of fresh solder on there. And uh, start right here with motor one. Well, hopefully, I hope that that right there will take care of soldering all the motor wires and everything to the flight controller board, and uh, we'll go ahead and hook it up to beta flight here in just a minute and check everything out on the beta flight. Next up here is hooking up the receiver. Go ahead. And Set up. And I'm going to hook this to the S bus pad. S bus pad. All right. I'll go ahead and get ready to solder our camera in, and we can check the camera and the VTX out. So I'm going to go ahead and solder the camera to the camera signal pad right here. Positive. 
going next. And then we got the camera negative. Goes in right here. Okay, so that's our camera and our VTX wired up. So the next step is to plug everything up, check our goggles, make sure we got video, and we'll go from there. All right, as you can see, we got ahead and uh, got it all hooked up to the beta flight, and everything is appears to be doing what it should be doing here. Um, I did, uh, we did a motor test here, uh, make sure all that's working correctly, and, uh, plug in the battery, <coughs> we'll test out the motors, make sure that's all working well. Got your arming beeps. Motor one. Two. Three. Four. There we go. So that part right there is working. Uh, next is move on to hook up the BTX, the camera, and the receiver. And then we'll see if we can get the bind up and take it outdoors for a flight and see how everything goes. Uh, get all the different ports in there. We got the setup. Everything seems to be stock pits. Modes haven't been set up yet add the range of that. Um, probably going to add an angle. And uh, definitely add the beeper. OSD I'm not going to set up yet, uh, anything on it. In the configuration tab, um, you got air mode on, OSD, anti-gravity, dynamic filters, um, pretty much all the beeper warnings is set up. I'll go back up. Change out to 180. And motor stops off. <clears throat> Got set up as one shot, 125. I'll mess with that here in a minute, but right now we'll keep it as one shot, 125.